I know it's uh, anticlimactic, but we got you some presents, too. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I told you we didn't have to do this. <laughs> Why do I listen to you? It's Mom's birthday. Drop dead, will you? Here, open mine first. Oh. Al Jolson's greatest hits. <laughs> oh, honey. It's a 78. <laughs> I knew Kelly's would bomb. No. Open mine. Unlike Kelly, I knew you were down about your birthday. So I got you something to make you feel better. Mrs. Yesterday's wrinkle remover? <laughs> Smear the years away. You know, I'm telling you, when you got your family, you've got it all. Kids, no supper tonight. Get out. <laughs> that settles it. I'm a bachelor for life. And a virgin. <laughs> Dad, if you're smart, you'll toss the present like a hand grenade and sleep at the bus station like us. <laughs> Al, it's my birthday. Where have you been? A kind of a walk. Francine's? <laughs> I don't know. Have you been a good little girl? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, Steve. I've been bad. <laughs> I've been very bad. Well, come on then. <laughs> yeah, that's a healthy marriage. <laughs> Guess what I got you? A senior citizen's bus pass? <laughs> <sighs> It's my fancy figure 327. I, I can't believe this. You found it. I got 10 of them, so uh, as long as they live, the guys will always have a roof over their heads. Al, you are the sweetest man in the whole world. I know. Oh, honey. Where'd you get the handcuffs? Oh, they were a gift. <laughs> Al, you don't think I'm getting old, do you? Peg. You look just the way you did the day I married you. Only difference is today I'm not dead drunk. <laughs> oh, Al. <laughs> All right, Peg, we both know this isn't the end of it. Let's get to it. Let's go upstairs. See, you're never satisfied. Do you know what I had to go through to get that present? I had to drive to Wisconsin. I had to reassure Steve that I find him attractive. I had to sit in a store for an hour and look at nothing but the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs>